Shalom. First and foremost, all praises go unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha HaKadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations go unto the hopeful elect. The tabernacle of David scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So once again, it's your brother Ezra Rayar coming back at you again with another lesson in the spirit of prophecy, which is the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Shai. And, uh, you know, this has been the big headline in the news over the past couple days. You know, uh, the Supreme Court overturned the Roe v. Wade decision, um, pretty much banning um, abortion on the federal level. All right. So uh, basically with this with this whole, um, you know, overturning of this, you know, Roe v. Wade, um, people have been out there protesting, um, you know, people have been making their their uh, voices and opinion heard in the streets. There's been a lot of violence, a lot of chaos, and, um, you know, of course, people take it to social media to uh, voice their frustrations. And this is nothing more than, uh, you know, the further collapse of Babylon the Great, man. All right, because here it is. You have a decision like Roe v. Wade being overturned as something that's a bad thing. Now, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't really know what the what the purpose is to overdo it now because you've they've already had it in place for so many years you know so but really the point is is that these elites these um you know politicians they they actually want chaos to ensue okay because this is all to further the uh the secret council of the wicked which ultimately is to bring about their new world order upon the planet earth all right and in order to get that new world order you have to create chaos in order to bring the order. All right. Order ab chaos. All right. First, you have to create chaos, manufacture the chaos. Then when the chaos ensues, then you bring about your solution and, you know, uh, put yourself up as the savior. All right. So this is what the uh, what these world elites are trying to do. OK. Causing further division within Babylon the Great. So. Um, I got this news uh, clip here. We're going to check out just a small portion of it, you know, just so you can see uh, what's been going on, you know. So here we go. Now to the protests across the country in response to the Supreme Court ruling. ABC's Aaron Katursky joins us with the latest. Good morning to you, Aaron. Eva, good morning to you. Police have already been worried about extremist threats to pride marches like the one today here in New York City. Now they fear Friday's abortion ruling is only adding fuel to the fire. Many protests across the country this weekend following the Supreme Court's Roe v. Wade reversal were largely peaceful, but it's incidents like these that have law enforcement officials on high alert. An off-duty Providence, Rhode Island police officer who's running for office as a Republican, seen here punching his Democratic opponent at an abortion protest. That officer is now suspended and dropping off. So these people out here really having abortion protests. Okay, so this should show you how wicked of a land that, uh, you know, America, Babylon the Great is. Because here it is, you actually have people that want the ability given to them by the government to kill unborn babies. All right. And you have all these women out here saying that my body, my choice, this, that, the third, when you can easily avoid having to get an abortion. All right. You can easily avoid that. And you know how you do that? Keeping your legs closed. Okay. Whatever man you deal with, make him wear a contraceptive. That's how you avoid abortion. But of course, the woman doesn't want to take accountability for anything. You know what I'm saying? So they want to blame everybody else for them not having the right to kill unborn children, man. You see, so the minds of these women are completely corrupt. You see, the minds of these, you know, modern day Babylonian women are completely destroyed. Okay? Because the simple solution is to abstain from sex. Okay? Or whoever you do have sex with. Make them wear a contraceptive. But no, you don't want to do that. You want to run around. You want to ride the cock carousel. You want to lay down with as many men as you like. Then when you get pregnant. And if it doesn't work out between you and the guy. Then, you know, the next thing that you want to do is to get an abortion. All right. To to kill that um that that uh, life that's growing inside of you. All right. And having children is a blessing from the most high. 
So now you see the mentality of these women out here that are, you know, fighting tooth and nail to keep their rights to kill their unborn children. All right. And I actually seen the, I don't know if it was on Twitter or what it was some one of them platforms. But, <laughs> you know, this girl was actually like uh, she said, I wish we could choose our baby daddies. <laughs> I lied to you not. I, I, I believe it was on Twitter, but she said, I wish we could choose our baby daddy. And I, I seen it. I was like, are you serious? Like you wish that you could choose your baby daddy? You already choose your baby daddy. But once again, you know, this just shows you the amount of confusion that exists within Babylon the Great to where you actually have people out here protesting their right to murder. Okay. People actually so up in arms about this. This is happening all over the nation. You know? And it's crazy too because, you know, it, you, hey, you think this is causing chaos. They actually saying now that um, at the federal level that gay marriage is uh, up to be scrutinized. <laughs> you know, they saying gay marriage now is, is, is about to go to the uh, Supreme Court and be tried. So if they do this over abortion, imagine how it's going to get when the federal, you know, court says that, uh, you know, gay marriage has now been illegal. Oh, man, you're going to really see America turn up then. But let's watch a little bit more of this. Out of, Out of his, his race. race. In Arizona, police used tear gas to disperse abortion rights protesters who breached the state capitol. And in Iowa, a pickup truck driver allegedly struck an abortion rights demonstrator after an argument. The concern from federal law enforcement officials is that extremists on the far left and the far right are seizing this divisive moment to incite violence. We are seeing in um, chatter online and domestic violent extremist spaces that indicate both uh, white nationalists, uh, anti-government extremists view this as a target of opportunity. In a bulletin obtained by ABC News, the Department of Homeland Security said the abortion ruling could spur violence for weeks with abortion providers, churches and judges most at risk. One of my biggest fears is that somebody else would lose their life or their loved one. Judge Esther Salas, whose son was murdered in the family's New Jersey home by a man targeting her, has been urging Congress to take action to protect judges. We know that my son uh, would expect nothing more than, than for us to not only survive in this world, but he wants us to thrive. Congress has passed legislation to protect Supreme Court justices. And, and that's another thing, you know, because very soon when these certain laws begin to be repealed and, you know, PA, P, people not going to like that. And they're going to start hunting the heads of these uh, government officials. And it's, it's, it's already been going on. You know, that's why the guy said that they've already passed laws to protect these politicians. So it's already going on, okay, to where people are, you know, showing up at these politicians' houses, you know, uh, the mayors, the governors, because you got to understand that these local politicians are more accessible than the president, okay? Like the president, you can't just walk up on the president like that, but the mayor, the governor, your house, uh, you know, senate or whatever. They're more accessible than the top ranking officials. So, you know, when 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 these crazy Babylonians don't like <laughs> what's uh, going on, they're going to go for the heads of these politicians, man. You see? And just through the spirit, I mean, you, you hey, you can tell that these are the Edomites, man. Like, just just look at the architecture of, of this building. Just look at the architecture. <laughs> Real quick. Let's just, just look up Roman architecture, right? Because, hey, the so-called white man is indeed the Edomite man, all right? So look at that. See? Same type of architecture. These, <laughs> these, these are the same people, man. You see that? Look at that. Ancient Roman architecture, Esau, so-called white man, all right? But that was just, I don't want to get off topic. That was just due to spirit, you know, but real quick, let's get, uh, let's get Mark 3. Because, hey, this, hey, this <laughs> America, Babylon, the great is a sinking shit, man. This, this, this place is through. All right, so this is Mark 3, 
and uh well, let's start at verse 23. Mark 3, verse 23. And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Okay, so right now, America, Babylon the Great is a kingdom divided against itself. Okay, there's, there, there's too much division here in this land. And that's how you know when a society is on its way out, when there's too much division. OK, you can't successfully run a society when everyone is, is uh, divided because there, there's too much difference of opinion. A kingdom works best when everyone can agree. OK, when everyone can, uh, uh, you know, come together and, you know, work things out at a cordial level. You know, what I'm saying things work best that way. But when you have all this division, OK, when you have people wanting to rise up against the government, when you have the government against the people, it's only a matter of time before everything collapses. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but hath an end. Con, right? So right now in America, Satan is divided against Satan, man. All right, you have the people against the government, the government against the people. All right, you have pro-abortion, you have, uh, you know, anti-abortion. You know what I'm saying? You have anti and gay rights. You have, you know, pro, pro, uh, you know, L LGBT. So, hey, man, uh, America, the land of, of confusion is completely divided. All right. And this is what you have here. You know what I'm saying? But this is what the word tell us what happened before our Lord Yahweh Shai to come back. OK, so now. Let's go ahead and get a uh, second Ezra. 15 15th chapter okay because hey the bible bible uh speaks of all these things will come to pass all right let's jump down start at verse 14 second edges 15 verse 14 woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. All right, what's that? That's sedition. That's rebellion. Okay, people standing up to fight against in the, uh, against one another, Salakia, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Okay, there's there, there's going to come a time, <laughs> all right, where Seditions are going to happen, and it's brewing right now. All right, it's going to come a time where these, uh, you know, politicians and you know, all of their like, they're going to be invaded. Okay, they're 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 going to be dragged out to the streets. All right, heads is going to be getting chopped off, man. It says they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Basically, meaning that you know. As as um that 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 Edomite said in uh, the video, he said that you know people are starting to come for these government officials, for these judges, for these mayors, for these governors. Why? Because they don't they don't like what's going on. They feel their their livelihood. The people feel that their livelihood is being taken away from them. And who's to blame for that? For these lawmakers, these politicians. So that that's why they're going to start coming for these people. Hence why it says they shall not regard their kings nor princes, their higher officials. All right, they're not going to care what what the judge got to say. They're not going to care what the mayor or uh, you know their local house representative has to say because pretty much then it's going to be like what well, what well, you know to hell with that. You know we you know we gonna do what we want to do, and their course of their actions shall stand in their power. Okay, so they, hey, the people going to have the power to do what they want to do, man. All right? For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Is this not Pride Month? Is this not, you know, Pride Month for the, uh, the uh, LGBT? The city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Okay? So this is what we're seeing right now. Okay? Babylon the Great divided. A house divided cannot stand. All right? Let's read a little bit of this article here. It says abortion, Roe v. Wade, and the Supreme Court, the big picture. Okay, so it says, uh, let's see here. Okay.
Okay, it says Justice Samuel Alito's majority opinion versus Dobbs versus Jackson. Women's Health Organization has overturned Roe v. Wade and Planned Parenthood v. Casey and returned abortion policy to the states. Right. So basically, you know, out, you know, abortion hasn't been completely outlawed. It's just been outlawed at the federal level. So the federal the federal government cannot, you know, up, uphold um, the right for people to get an, an abortion at that level. So, for example, let's say that you lived in a state where abortion was illegal, according to that state's constitution, that you could go. You know, you you know, what I'm saying like you, you can actually fight that at the federal level and actually get the federal courts to grant your right to abortion. But now, even at the federal level, which is which is above um, the uh, state, the federal, you know, the Fed has more power than the state. But of course, you know, each state has its own constitution, has its own rights, you know, but ultimately um, it all has to fall under uh, the uh, the laws of the federal government. Right. So basically now what's happened is that at the federal level, they not they pretty much, you know, shot down abortion. But at the state level now, certain states allow it, certain states don't. You know, really, most of these blue states allow um, abortion, but most of the red states, the Republican states, they not with that. You see, so if if you live in a predominantly uh, Republican state, then more than likely abortion is not a. Uh, you know, practice there, you know, but like I said, if that's the case, before they overturn Roe v. Wade, you could go to the federal government and have your request for abortion granted, you know, but now that's not the case. So pretty much now, if you live in a state where abortion is illegal, you pretty much would have to move to another state, you know what I'm saying? Because now the federal government can't really do anything about that, you know? So it says, um, the opinion pages of the Wall Street Journal look at the history, facts, and politics of the issue and how the court's decision might affect the political landscape. Okay, you see all these people out here protesting, okay, outside the Supreme Court. All right. It says, for decades, every argument about Supreme Court precedent has been proxy war, has been a proxy war over Roe v. Wade. Anytime the justices questioned a precedent, their opinions were read as clues for the future of Roe. All right. It says hundreds of thousands of pro-life advocates will gather in Washington on Friday for the annual march for life. <laughs> so you're marching for the the annual march for life, but here it is. You think that this is a victory. You really think that this is a victory, but meanwhile, babies are still being killed in America. Babies are still being killed. And as a matter of fact, I was watching this one video where um, this uh, Edomite, he actually brought it out that they're fighting for, uh, you know, for, for um, the government to allow abortion even after two years old. So even after the baby has, has, has been born, they're saying that you should have the right to murder that baby. I believe it, it, uh, I believe he said anywhere from 10 months to two years that it that, you know, they can enact that. So you see the wickedness of America. Man, hey, this, this is why this place got to go. This is why Yahweh Yahweh must bring judgment here in this land, because as it says in the scriptures, man, if the most high had not shortened the days for the sake of the elect, no flesh would be saved. OK. These wicked ass people will destroy everything, man. All right. It says they'll be where they usually are day in and day out at pregnancy resource centers caring for mothers and children born and unborn. OK, so really, man, all you have in this land is just, <clears throat> you know, complete hypocrisy. OK, because you have those this on the, this on the left, you know, warring with those against the right. But really, they're all in the same boat. The main thing that they disagree with is the way that things are done. You see? And that's, and that's really it. Protect, protect reproductive rights. Keep abortion legal. 
So you're saying, <laughs> so you want to protect, pr protect reproductive rights. So what kind of reproductive rights are you talking about? So like here, so what kind of reproductive rights are you talking about? You want to protect reproductive rights to to destroy babies, or or do you want to you know protect reproductive rights to bring forth life? You know, which one is it? Then she got to sign here, keep abortion legal. So all you have in, in Babylon, the great man, is just complete confusion. And if you can't see through the spirit that this place is done, then the Most High has, has blinded your understanding, man. All right, it says protesters marched on the homes of conservative Supreme Court justices over the weekend. An ugly attempt to scare them into saving Roe v. Wade. This week, the drama moves to the Senate where Democratic leader Chuck Schumer plans a vote on a sweeping bill to override state laws and set a national abortion policy. <laughs> All right, so hey, man, these Babylonians are completely through. All right. See the signs they holding up? Nothing about us without us. So these people really just want the right to to murder. <laughs> okay? These people really just want the right to, you know, destroy life. Okay? But then if you ask majority, and the crazy thing is majority of people, I, I'm not going to say majority, but a good number, a significant number of people in America are actually for uh, abortion. All right, they're actually for <clears throat> abortion, man. So, hey, man, you know, and th th this is why the scriptures say that billions of people upon the earth are going to be destroyed because the mindset of these modern day people is completely been given over unto Satan. All right, they've completely been given over unto the wicked all right completely i mean it, you know is 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 just no morals no no type of uh no type of compassion you know what i'm saying it's just pretty much if i don't want to have a baby then i should have the right to kill that baby it's my body my choice but you don't understand that once you have another body growing inside of you it's not just your body you have another body, but nobody's asking consent of, of uh, the baby to be aborted. No one's asking the baby, does, does you, you know, does he feel comfortable being being murdered? But yeah, you talk about pro, pro life. Well, that's another life that you're not taking account for. But you claim that you are, pro, uh, you know, pro life. So you see, is nothing but complete hypocrisy here in this land. Just confusion all the way around. All right. So now let's get um, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter. And let's start at, start at verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he had made. Okay? So, hey, you're supposed to diligently measure the times that we're in right now. All right? Because this is the time in which judgment is coming forth in the earth. Okay? These are the times that the Lord is, is revealing the signs unto the elect to see, you know, that he is very, very, you know, close to returning and bringing judgment to the earth. All right? And when you see these things, then shall you understand that this is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, so the Most High is visiting the earth, man. The Most High is visiting Babylon the Great. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Are, <laughs> are we not seeing massive uproars of the people? All right, people protesting abortion. All right, people protesting gas, protesting, you know, cost of living. Okay, people going up against the government, going up against police, uproars of the people, man. All right, you have people over there in the Sri Lanka. They they pretty much getting ushered in, in into the new world order right now. 
they pretty much being ushered into the New World Order right now, okay? Because conditions are so bad over there in Sri Lanka to the point where, yo, the government pretty much is about to scrap that whole system and just go over into the system of the beast. And Lord willing, I can get into that article. I'll, yeah, I'll, matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll find that article, pull it up, and I'll do a lesson on it because, hey, stuff is going down over there in Sri Lanka, man. But, uh, yeah. It says, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee. Okay, so all the things that you're seeing now, Roe v. Wade, uproars of the people, high gas prices, high cost of food, famine, death, pestilence, all these things were what? The Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee. Before me or you even came into the earth, were even born, these things were spoken. Okay, these things were spoken and now coming to pass. So that's how you know that the words of the Heavenly Father are indeed faithful and true. All right, even from the beginning. So hey, since since before the foundation of the world was made, these things were already made. So we just living in the time now where we get to see it. Like we, we really get to see prophecy being unfolded right before our very eyes in this time. Okay, so this is a beautiful thing to witness. And these things are not for us to be afraid, but these things are for us to lift up our head and know that our redemption is very near. Okay? Let's jump to now. Let's jump to Revelation verse, uh, chapter 18. Start at verse 1. And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying Babylon the great is fallen is fallen and has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird okay so basically this place is being reduced to ashes man all right this place is fallen and, and you know this place is falling man the Babylon the great is through and you seeing the manifestation of that all right. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. OK, all nations of the earth have drunken of the wine, meaning the philosophies, the way the uh, the American way. OK, all nations have taken on the American way, man, in in, in, in uh, one form or another. OK. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. OK, so all these kings of the earth have come together made their bed in Babylon the Great, traded with her, received received uh, Babylon the Great's philosophies. Okay, they have committed fornication with Babylon the Great. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. All right? So these other nations, they come here to, you know, build themselves up. Okay, make make some good money. You know, wax themselves rich through the, through the abundance of Babylon's delicacies, man. All the all the pleasant things that are made here. Okay. So hey, this place is completely through. Okay, Babylon the Great is finished, man. And it's not that much longer before this place fully collapsed. And you know, these these elites bring about that new world order, man. You see, abortion is essential. <laughs> so murder is essential, basically. Okay. Bands off our bodies. Keep abortion safe. These, listen, man. These, these are the kinds of things that you have in America. Okay? And look who's mostly out there. The heathen. Alright? It's the heathen, man. Why do the heathen rage and imagine a vain thing? Alright? But little do they know. They out there protesting abortion... But this is really the least of their worries, man. <laughs> All right. Abortion, you know, in a very, very short time to come is going to be the least of these heathens worries. All right. They life. They they all here protesting for, you know, abortion. Hey, well, their own life is about to be on the line very, very soon. These heathen are about to go through some very, uh, you know, sore and grievous affliction very soon to come, man. But alright, I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. Hopefully this lesson was edifying through Racha HaKadash. Call hello, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim, Racha HaKadash. Till next time, Shalom to the elect, DTA. Come Yashal in the Bible Ball.